Politico published an article today that is absolutely chilling because it demonstrates that Donald Trump isn't the only threat within the Republican Party to democracy. Most of them have taken on the mantle of trying to directly attack our democracy. And the way that they're doing it is absolutely systemic. It's savvy. And the scary part is that this could actually work. So Politico explains video recordings of Republican Party operatives meeting with grassroots activists provide an inside look at a multi-pronged strategy to target and potentially overturn votes in Democratic precincts, install trained recruits as regular poll workers, and put them in direct contact with party attorneys. The plan, as outlined by a Republican National Committee staffer in Michigan, includes utilizing rules designed to provide political balance among poll workers to install party-trained volunteers prepared to challenge voters at Democratic majority polling places, developing a website to connect those workers to local lawyers, and establishing a network of party-friendly district attorneys who could intervene to block vote counts at certain precincts. Being a poll worker, you just have so many more rights and things you can do to stop something than as a poll challenger, said Matthew Seafried, the RNC's election integrity director from Michigan, stressing the importance of obtaining official designations as poll workers in a meeting with GOP activists in Wayne County last November 6th. It is one of a series of recordings of GOP meetings between summer of 2021 and May of this year obtained by Politico. Backing up those frontline workers, it's going to be an army, Seafried promised, at an October 5th training session. We're going to have more lawyers than we've ever recruited because, let's be honest, that's where it's going to be fought, right? So notice how they look at 2020 and they view that as a learning experience. So what they're doing currently is they're sharpening their blade and they're planning on sticking it right through the heart of democracy. Now, you might think, well, what's the big deal? Currently, they're really targeting Michigan uh, as the main swing state. On top of that, you know, poll workers, what's, what's the harm in that, right? Well, the harm is that they're specifically being trained to cause a disruption that might lead to these elections not being certified. And if they see someone who they don't want to vote or who they think looks suspicious then they have access now to lawyers from the Republican Party to perhaps a friendly district attorney. So there's a lot of ways that they can use this in their advantage. So they know that Trump couldn't steal the election in 2020 because the courts wouldn't let him. But they've changed that, or they're in the process of changing that. They're in the process of building a national infrastructure to quite literally steal elections if they don't go their way. Now, the article goes on to explain specifically how they're going to use this to potentially steal elections. Separately, Politico obtained Zoom tapings of Tim Griffin, legal counsel to the Amistad Project, a self-described election integrity group that Donald Trump's former lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, once portrayed as a partner in the Trump campaign's legal efforts to overturn the 2020 election, meeting with activists from multiple states and discussing plans for identifying friendly district attorneys who could stage real-time interventions in local election disputes. This is completely unprecedented in the history of American elections that a political party would be working at this granular level to put a network together, said Nick Penniman, founder and CEO of Issue One, an election watchdog group. It looks like now the Trump forces are going directly after the legal system itself, and that should concern everyone. Penniman also expressed concern about the quick strike networks of lawyers and DAs being created, suggesting that politically motivated poll workers could simply initiate a legal conflict at the poll in place that disrupts voting and then use it as a vehicle for rejecting vote counts from that precinct. Come election day, you create massive failure of certification in Democratic precincts, Penniman said. The real hope is that you can throw the choosing of electors to state legislatures. So stop for a moment. Let that sink in. We know that Trump and his goons legally were trying to do just that in states where he claimed there was fraud, like Arizona, Georgia. He was trying to get the state legislatures to send in rogue electors so they subvert the will of voters in those states. And now the GOP, before all of us, is building the legal and political infrastructure necessary to do just that. They're doing this out in the open, folks. Out in the open. And we all acknowledge it, and I'm sure people are already aware that this is something that they're trying to do, but nobody's actually doing much to stop this when this is an actual threat to democracy. I mean, currently, I don't think it's hyperbole to say that democracy is on borrowed time in this country. 
And this is why voting rights was so important. And the fact that the Democratic Party failed to enact voting reform really could be the death knell in our democracy. Because if you don't address this at the federal level, what's being done at states, then once the GOP retakes power, they've established a framework to where they don't have to give it up. Now, that's not to say that they're just going to get elected and then state, okay, we're done with elections. They're not going to be that overt, but they can more covertly steal democracy by just rigging the system further in their favor. They're already doing it with voter suppression and gerrymandering. So, of course, all they have to do is wait out the Democrats, knowing that they will inevitably not be in power very much longer, and then that's when they pounce. Now, take a look at some of these slides that Politico obtained. So this is from the RNC. It's titled Election Inspector and Poll Challenger Workshop, and the goal is to make it easy to vote and hard to cheat, apparently. But if you go to slide two here, the opposite is true. They're the ones trying to cheat. This is voter intimidation. They're equipping their trained thugs with knowledge needed to challenge voters on the basis of citizenship status or age. And if, you know, that voter wants to challenge that, well, that poll worker will have a lawyer or district attorney waiting on call to assist them. So just stop and think about how this might play out. If one of these Republicans, and most of these people who signed up, by the way, 5,600 have signed up, most of them at this meeting have vocalized their uh, frustration over fraud and the stolen 2020 election. So these are already people who are not living in reality. But imagine if they see someone and they think that's not a citizen because mm, they're brown. I want to see your citizenship papers. Show me proof that you're a citizen. That person could rightfully refuse because obviously that's racial profiling. And then what could happen? Well, they have a legal team at their beck and call. You don't understand how many ways they can use this. They can use this in a plethora of ways and understand that it's not just Trump now. This is the RNC that is doing all of this plotting and scheming to kill democracy in the United States. They couldn't do this before because they weren't necessarily sure if their base would go for it. But what Trump demonstrated to the broader Republican Party is that actually their base is hungry for a power grab. And they would have the legitimacy that they didn't think they would have if they just straight up killed democracy. Because they've been conditioned to think that they are victims. The right has been conditioned to think that the left and the media and everyone is out to get them specifically. So when you get them into this paranoid state, well, they're more susceptible to this idea that this is what we have to do. We have to take over democracy by force. Otherwise, what choice do we have? It's all really, really a huge warning sign. And I just don't feel like people are going to realize it until it happens so you know there is the potential in the foreseeable future within the next five maybe ten years that we're going to have an election and the republican party is actually going to steal that election they're going to appoint rogue electors send them to the electoral college and just have them choose who they want to be the president they're already rigging it at the local level, when it comes to Congress, and at the presidential level, the federal level, they're putting in place the legal infrastructure to do what they want. And then when that happens, and when people on the left cry fraud, rightfully so, then they're going to say, oh, well, you told us that we were lying, so you're just lying too, and their base will believe it. So keep a close eye to this and make sure that you continue to exert pressure on Democrats, call your representative, and make sure that they don't forget about the issue of voting rights. It is by far one of the most important issues that will impact American politics in the immediate future. And yes, there are more pressing issues that existentially threaten us, like climate change and whatnot. But if we don't have the power to vote and choose politicians who might want to fight climate change, then we can't address any other issue. So voting rights has to be number one right now. And until Democrats enact this, then... We have election theft literally by Republicans to look forward to or at a minimum voter intimidation. But their overall plot, it goes much deeper than just voter intimidation. They want to disrupt elections, cause a ruckus so that way they can send in their own rogue electors. It's absolutely troubling and it should be chilling to every single person who knows about this. I'll link you to the full story down below. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member.
because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.